Well, then it's a good thing that trans women are not men. But while we're on the topic, let's talk about it. Aside from the fact that trans women are not a threat to other women in the bathroom, it is equally unsafe for both trans women and cisgender women alike to go in a men's restroom. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a different opinion. So we're looking at this here. So if someone commented on this person's TikTok, whatever the heck it is, saying it's also illegal for men to go to women's restrooms, right? Now, this trans woman who is a biological male is trying to come out and say that, you know, it's fine that we can go into women's restrooms, but it's dangerous for all of us to go into men's restrooms. I don't know if this person can see the hypocrisy, right? So he's trying to say that it's dangerous for women to go into men's restrooms, but so it's not dangerous for men to go into women's restrooms. Like, I just, I never understand that about this. It's almost like they feel like it's fine for them to hang their junk out in front of little girls and women and think that's just kind of normal and you got to deal with it, unfortunately. And that's the reason why that JK Rowling, who is the author of the Harry Potter books and all that, has been absolutely crucified because she comes out and says that no one except women should go into women's bathrooms, same with the men, and I 100% agree. Now let's have a listen. See, men don't want me in the bathroom looking like this. They want me to go back to being a man and they're gonna take any opportunity they can to antagonize a trans woman in an attempt to convince her to be a man. So the second a trans woman sets foot in a men's bathroom, she is unsafe. The second any woman sets foot in a men's bathroom, she's not safe. The majority of women understand this. Out of the thousands of bathrooms I've been in, I've only had an issue. Well, I think as soon as you step into a men's bathroom, that's when the men will probably be like, can you get out of here? This is a men's bathroom. Can you leave? And then I think when men walk into a woman's bathroom, the women say the exact same thing. They say, you're not allowed to be here. Can you leave? That is what will happen in any normal situation. Unless if you're like a full on creep or something, and then that's when the police get rung and you get arrested. Two times. And despite what happened in both of those times, I would still never set foot in a men's restroom ever again. So is that why you change genders? Just because you wanted to go into a woman's bathroom so you feel safer? How about you go into a unisex one maybe, right? Like a lot of places in America now actually have unisex toilets set up in certain states, but not all. But yeah, I guess that's a bit of an easy cop out. <laughs> Let's change genders. I don't feel safe in a men's bathroom. So I'll just go into a woman's one now and make them feel uncomfortable. Because who cares about how they feel? It's just about how I feel, right? That's this generation, this day and age where we don't care how you feel. We only care about how I feel. And that's kind of sad. Now, this is what this whole video is about, is the World Chess Federation in France has banned trans women and trans men from competing in the opposite sex, right? So trans people can't compete. So if it's a biological man, you can't compete against women. And if you're a biological woman, you can't compete against biological men. And out of all this kind of sports, you would think this is probably the one where it wouldn't matter. But as you can tell, it does matter because minds are different and it just makes it more equal yet again. And this is where I hope that all these kind of do-gooder activists can come out and they can have a look at this and see, wait a minute, even if they're getting banned in a non-contact, doesn't matter how physical you are, sport like chess, doesn't that show you that it's even more crazy that men want to compete against women in like, for example, American football or basketball or rugby or whatever you want to do. If this is already being banned, imagine those. And that's what everyone is trying to say is it's too dangerous for these biological men to compete against women. And then everyone will come out, oh, but they are women, right? They, they are women. No, 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 no. One was born a man, one was not. Okay, let's end that debate right there. So let's have a look. Rugby, swimming, track and field. Transgender women have been banned from international women's events in a growing number of sports. The latest to make that list is chess. The International Chess Federation, known as FIDE, will effectively stop allowing transgender women from participating in women's competitions until further analyses. As we know as well, there was a guy that had a full-on beard. He had tattoos. He was a big, you can't, like a manly looking guy, right? Like hairy and everything. And he purposely entered a competition for poker as a woman. So he won the women's division and he came out and made a video and everything about it and said, 
look what happens when this happens. It's not fair to the people there. I've just won this competition. And there were still people coming out and being like, you're not allowed to do that. But why is it okay for someone else to do it? Right? Like, what's the difference between someone waking up in the morning saying, today I am a woman, tomorrow might not be. What's the difference between him pointing out the fact about how ridiculous it is? That's the question I ask because he and Enes Kanter, for example, in that video I made previously, the basketball player said, you know, I should just change my gender and go and play in the women's NBA because he says I'll average 60 points because he's seven foot tall and he's, you know, fairly well built. So it's good to see that there are actually people out there, especially athletes, professional ones, kind of speaking up about this and saying about how ridiculous it is. And that's the thing. The people that are pushing these things are not professional athletes. They're not the ones who have to maybe go in a cage and fight a guy. They're not the ones that have to go on a field and play a different sex. They're just sitting behind a desk, either talking like me to a camera or pushing pencils. That's the only difference is that they don't have to listen to the repercussions and they don't have to go through the injuries or the scare, but they want to force people to do it on the other end, which is just absolutely ridiculous. So bravo to this federation, the FIDE. Well done for coming out and doing this because I think every single federation around the world should do it and make your own transgender competition. And it's it's fine, right? Everyone will be happy. I will be happy with that because as long as they're adults and they want to compete in the transgender competition, let them do it. But let women compete against women. Let men compete against men. And I hope that's how it ends. And hopefully it ends soon because, yeah, we all know that the world is going a bit bonkers and hopefully it ends there. But like the video if you liked it. And please comment as well. Let me know what you think. Do you agree, disagree with this role as well? And what do you also think about that person saying, you know, I felt unsafe in a men's toilet, but now I am making women feel unsafe in reality. Comment below, let me know what you think. And please subscribe as well. It helps support the channel. YouTube is definitely not exposing my videos as much as they used to. So any kind of subscription or any kind of comments and things will help get these videos out there and people can see it. So thank you very much for the support and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.